The process for a major purchase like a fire engine or a tower like the one in the back you see here, it's been over a two year process. We spent about a year with working on developing our bid specifications and laying out the trucks the way that we wanted them to be able to serve the needs we have here in Bristol. And so that started over two years ago. And then the next step would be to get money appropriated for it. And we did that through the capital improvement projects budget uh, last year. And once we got that in the budget, then we put the specifications out on the street for the manufacturers to uh, look at the specs and to submit their bid for building the trucks. And there are several manufacturers that could build these trucks. And once those bids came in, uh, Pierce Manufacturing was selected as the manufacturer to build the, uh, the ladder or the tower that we have behind us and the engine that's beside me. And we did a purchase order to them in July of 21. And then we took delivery of the trucks in uh, November of 22. So that's how long it takes to actually build uh, a fire truck. The thing about building a custom fire truck like this is you can lay out your, your paint scheme however you want it. You lay out your decals and your markings on it. And uh, this truck is pretty much the standard marking scheme that we have for Bristol, Tennessee Fire Department that began in about 2008 with engine one. And that's black over red with the decals pretty much standard across the department. We have a representative from the vendor, which is GNW Diesel, who is the vendor for Pierce, which is the manufacturer. And that uh, technician from GNW will be here today, tomorrow, and Friday to teach all three shifts about the differences in what we have on this engine versus what they're currently using. And then next week we will have a uh, instructor from Pierce Manufacturing will come from Appleton, Wisconsin, and he will be here with us for three days next week to train all of our people on the, uh, the tower. And then once that's done, you know, we've got a few more things to mount on them. We've got to get the radios installed, and hopefully, you know, once we have everybody trained on them and get the rest of that done, which we can be doing while they're training, uh, hopefully in about uh, the next week to 10 days, you'll see both of these in service on the road. The fire engine, which is the one that's in front, it's typically the one that carries the most of your hose that makes the initial attack on the fire. It's the one that runs with the ambulance and what have you on EMS calls, and it does carry you know, the advanced life support equipment on it. It carries extrication equipment on it for vehicle accidents and things like that. And so it's the one that you're gonna see running uh, pretty much every call. The tower that we see behind us, that's a truck that we would use to be able to reach the heights in the multi-story buildings. Uh, you know, an engine carries a 24-foot uh, uh, ladder on it, extension ladder, and that's really the, the height you can get to. And so with the ladder truck, it's a 100-foot ladder, ladder with a platform on the end of it, so it allows us to be able to reach those multi-story buildings. Uh, typically what we try to, uh, to do is have a fire engine on the road for about 15 years as a primary response and then after that 15 years, it would move to a uh, reserve status um, to be on the road when one of them's in the shop or something that's primary. And then we get another 10 years maybe out of them in reserve status. The tower uh, doesn't run near as many calls as an engine does, so we do get a little longer life out of those as, uh, as a front run. And in reality, the one that this is replacing, the tower, is a ladder truck that was built in 1995 and it will move to reserve status, and this one will become primary response for the 100-foot uh, tower. The primary response truck at Station 2 and Station 3 are about 2000, 2002 models. They will move to reserve status, and this engine will replace uh, the one at Station 2. We have another engine that's a twin to this that is in production right now that we should be receiving in about April and it will go to station one and that engine from station one that is a 2008 model will move to station three. 
And the reason we do that is because of call volume. Well, if you look at uh, the trucks that we'll be replacing, there are two of the engines that will be coming out of service will are in the early 90s, like 91, 93 models. And there's been a lot of evolution in the fire truck industry in that time. And so all of these are built to an NFPA 1901 standard. And so as that standard has changed, as you can imagine, since 91 has changed considerably. And those changes have changed the equipment that you carry on. They've changed the required lighting packages that you have. And so some of the things that we'll see on these new trucks is uh, they're a little taller than our previous engine and they have more compartment space which allows us to be able to carry uh, more uh, equipment in a uh, more orderly way. Uh, and so they're designed to be able to lay out the equipment to where everything is easily accessed. The lighting package that uh, we have on it for the emergency lighting is uh, upgraded considerably from what was available in the early 90s. And so we do have that. Our scene lighting that uh, is now all LED, and so it is uh, really uh, much better at lighting up a scene, particularly in nighttime when they pull up on an accident or a house fire or something. And all that is geared towards uh, the safety of not only the firefighter, but the public that they serve. Uh, so you'll see a lot of things that are on older trucks but the newer version of it and you know in the 90s we carried a three inch hose as our supply line and now we carry five inch so you know, there's been a lot of improvements in the equipment and the equipment that's carried in the trucks uh, in that time frame and obviously these have all the the newest equipment and requirements built into them.